Hello again, Uncle Beard back with another video. Now this is going to be a little bit different, it's not a knife making video, um, it's a gear video, because this is Uncle Beard's gear. Um, been called out on this one by Chris Barrett from uh, Retro Outdoor Equipment. Now, me and Chris are good pals, um, and we're both knife collectors. Uh, his tastes are a little bit different to mine, but you know, a good knife's a good knife. Now. The challenge is, you've got to pick three knives from your collection. The cheapest knife, the newest knife, and the most used knife. So I'm just going to reposition the camera and uh, show you what I've picked from my collection. Okay? Right, firstly, cheapest knife. Now, you're probably going to guess what it is. It tends to be the cheapest knife in everybody's collection. It's a Mora. Now this one had to be the cheapest knife because it didn't cost me a penny. It was a gift from Chris Barrett, funnily enough, but it's just the you know the classic old um, John E Johnson uh, Mora. I'm actually going to do a bit of work on this one. Um, I'm going to strip that horrible varnish off the handle and uh, the patina of the blade and, and make a nice leather sheath for it. But yeah. Great knife, great little knife, you know, speaks for itself, it's a Mora, does what it says on the tin. Not really much else you can say about that one. So yeah, that's my cheapest knife. Next up, my most used knife. Now this, up until recently, was my most carried knife, my favourite knife, <coughs> my go-to knife, for a belt knife anyway. Um, and it's a, it's a, a Mick Spain now. As far as I'm aware, Mickey making knives anymore. Um, I believe that his eyesight's not too good, so he's not making knives anymore. But this this knife, uh, Mick made in 2009, so you know it's been around a good while. It's had plenty of time to uh, prove itself. So uh, yeah just under a three inch blade um it's had a lot of wear this it's been chipped you know it's been dinked and uh, reground a couple of times it's got a lovely patina on that blade i, I absolutely adore this knife um it's stabilized um california buckeye burl on the handle red liners O1 one tool steel nice sharp spine although the, sh the spine's not as sharp as it what it once was for the wear which just got a really good full size grip um that classic coke bottle shape now i mean mick were making knives right before before wood law were a thing you know um he you know he, he knows his he knows his stuff does mick or you know did um and it's it's kind of a rare beast really you don't see many of them come up for sale very often um but I just adore it. And it's a fantastic knife. Just do everything. You know, it's it's just a solid little solid little belt knife and I love it to bits. Scout carry. Uh, most of you know me know that I tend to appendix carry my knives. Um this was the first knife that I kind of started carrying like that. And it became so second nature for me just to reach for my knife in that position and be comfortable that every knife that I've uh, bought or made a sheath for since for myself it's been in this configuration so yeah that's my most used knife mixed Spain uh, bushcraft knife finally last but n by no means least my newest knife now this came unsheathed this is actually a, a sheath that I've uh, made for myself um, again appendix carry just like the mixed pain but this is um, an AA Forge Mini Woodsman now I've only had this knife f three weeks something like that I think three or four weeks but on my last two trips this was the knife that I took and it is absolute monster um, like I say, it's the AA Forge Mini Woodsman. Um, I mean, look at that handle. Let me get that right up to the camera. I am absolutely, totally and utterly in love with this knife. The handle is coconut husk. 
my car to Camera's picking that up. White liners and canvas Mercata liners. It's got a what Adam calls his Scandivex bevel. Let's get that in the library. There you go. Scandivex bevel and a hammered finish. And I've used the heck out of this thing over the past few weeks and it, you know it's only just needing a little bit of a strop it's a bit dirty obviously because I was using it this weekend um, and it's just it's just it's just a joy to use if you are in the market for a high-end handmade knife and you don't mind paying the shipping from the States check out AA Forge because it, 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 Adam's works just incredible um, but yeah that's pretty much all I've got to say really three knives three great knives classic Mora my old faithful Mick Spain it's been done some serious mileage that that blade and uh, the new hotness the uh, the AA Forge mini woodsman right I'm Uncle Beard I'll catch you later <laughs>